the scenario for this time will be Wake Island, December 1941. So, let's get started. Wake Island, December 23rd, 1941. Only 400 marines and 1000 construction workers stood in the way of the entire Japanese second... I have no idea what the S and L means. So, the entire Japanese second division. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the marines made the Japanese pay a heavy price for the island. Wake's gun batteries took out landing ships, destroyers and even a light cruiser. It would make it would take several days of heavy fighting before the island fell. But for the rest of the war the battle cry, Remember Wake Island, would rally America. Okay. We want to innovate or I'm sort of curious to see what happens, so Want to obey Japanese last time, so let's go with the US Marines. Although I haven't never played a at least in the campaign or scenario of assault and assault missions from water. Yeah, and I'm still not playing apparently. Type 97, Chi Ha. Chi Ha. I take a look at it. Why can't I take a look at it? Okay. Decent sized gun, it's very short. And a machine gun. Uh, this is an okay tank already. Heavy armor. Much better than the last time we played. Fifteen turns. These are tanks obstacles. Yeah, uh, reaching here is probably extremely hard. It's kind of bombard. Ooh, we have airplanes. What's a uh, valve? It's a. Uh, it has a. It's a crappy airplane. Zero probably is a better one. Yeah, it has an actual cannon and a couple of small bombs. Well, it uh, has a larger bomb, so airplane. Six of them. I'm guessing these are supposed to be landing strips airplanes so there's probably serious defense here but I would assume the heavy defense is here it's a rough terrain it has anti tank obstacles might have mines probably has AA guns too Uh, we are mostly infantry, so I think mm, smoke might serve us here quite quite, quite well. Let's see. And we have quite a lot of infantry going here already, so every everyone here will be yeah mines. Will be going here. Well, someone has to go by the road to first squad headquarters. To here's a raft. Can I try to use the raft to attack behind here? Yeah, I'm not gonna try to do that though.
I'm not quite sure. How do we want to use the tanks? I think, first of all, we'll sacrifice zeros. Uh, two of them. Or one zero, one bow. Meaning we'll just we'll just send them. Take a look. Mm. Sure, what to target? And that will be shooting up a lot of smoke, I think. I'm not quite sure where I should fit. Where are all the enemy units? I'm guessing most of these locations will have. These buildings probably will have, and here definitely yeah, quite a lot of, a lot of it. Yeah, we're so close, so that that sort of worries me. Because if we can take these in 15 rounds, there has to be quite a dangerous defense here somewhere. I think we'll shoot some smoke with mortars here. Same with here. And we'll save the batteries for... How many smoke ammunition do they have? Eight. Could use a single smoke attack here. Yeah, I'm quite sure what's the best way to go about this. We'll save the batteries until we have actual targets and the rest of the airplanes. We might find them the targets immediately, even on this turn. So it might not take that long. I think we'll want smoke here. It'll make assaulting uh, very difficult for us. We have superior numbers. Very lucky, at least. Construction workers. And that's a different matter altogether. Very capable machine gun. Uh, we have no cover here. This is a uh, no. Re yeah, this is a uh, no suffer very high casualties. He, the very capable gets to shoot at us at that point. That might be another building where there's a uh, very cal. Yeah, we need to shoot them with basically everything we have. 
we're not gonna be able to do much we if they're there firing at us. Workers. Do they have rifle bar hand grenade? The automatic rifle, yeah. They're totally incapable of inflicting losses on them. So we'll have to try to get them to abandon those locations. Ammunition do we have? We don't have exactly a huge amount, but it'll uh, it'll be a long time before we will we'll start worrying about it. Battery. Yep. This was to be expected. They're in a much better position. Yeah, you. Are we sending an airplane here? Yes, we are. Zero. You. Yep. We'll definitely target vehicles first. AA battery. We could use smoke here. almost impossible to cause them any kind of damage. We'll give it an effort though. Oh crap. Oh crap again, yeah. We're totally being annihilated. It's, uh, it's a very dangerous unit. Uh, uh, sucks. We can't afford to do anything while those guys are there. We'll have to keep that in mind. It simply isn't an option. The casualties would be so enormous that this attack will dry up in seconds. But firing an actual battery here. I think we could also fire something here. And uh, we moved everything. I don't think we have, no. All these squares will be heavily fortified. It's wonderful. Ooh, hoverture. I'm curious about the hoverture. Where is that? Ooh, crap. That's a. Uh, that's a bad one.
This is a bad one. I'm gonna suffer immense casualties here. Yeah, god damn it. Where is the artillery supposed to strike? Uh, mm. not, not good enough. Oh. The airplanes might shoot at our own. But uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do too much now. Let's just see what happens. Uh, I was ex expecting a little bit more. Oh, it's a in terrible place. It'll, it'll destroy our tanks probably do quite without too much effort. Uh, anyone going there? It's gonna be in deep trouble. Uh, let's take a peek. And are you... Crap, we'll... If I have to start shooting, we'll take huge casualties. Yeah, we're too close. Too close, way too close. This is... You can't do this with infantry, It's it just isn't gonna happen. You'd need to rush with a large number in a single turn, and you'll take massive casualties anyway. Oh crap! It's really the sort of a. Disorienting, I guess, to play just these scenarios because you get used to a certain quality in your units from previous missions, and they're not consistent. Naturally, they're not, but in here, as for example, it seems like we're taking a huge amount of losses from everything and we're totally incapable of inflicting losses on the enemy. without taking any losses. Same with that. Are we if we charge in there that group is gonna slaughter us but it doesn't it just can't happen. So we'll I'll wait to just to see what happens to reveal more unique locations, things like that when the artillery and airplanes arrive.
welcome. It seems our units are abnormally weak in this one. I mean, even the airplanes went down from a single hit of a machine gun. To have to use more airplanes to get these guys. Oh, it's her dug in. That's fine. And we'll send to, uh, two airplanes to each target. What are you doing? Changing it to normal fire, can I? No, so cancel, I don't want to shoot smoke there. Doesn't serve any purpose. Might as well mortar these locations. Mortaring isn't that great. There's just no other way to put it. it it's pretty terrible. Um, He could fire there and more here. Do you have any targets? Okay, we need to check our ammo card. Ammunition got uh, only 20 high explosives left. Between, yeah, everyone's morale, even the enemy seems to be non existent. Okay. That's our leader unit. Major Tomori. Yeah, I just don't see the exits where his units are. That that's beautiful. That is beautiful. We don't want to go here, or if we could, because the artillery and airplanes are coming. Same with here. Do something about the artillery, though. There's no other way to put it. I have to charge it. Okay, it's the other. Probably that one. Firing smoke because I don't want anyone interrupting our attack on the gun. It's too important. As long as that gun is there, there's, there can be no infantry moving past here. It's it it kills a quarter of our squad in a single hit. We'll just have to rush it with uh, multiple units. Right. It's 
over for you. Nice. There's another one. Need to get rid of these tank obstacles. Do see. First squad, B company, first. We have smoke. Sweet do. After the next turn, we'll shoot another bunch of smoke here. Yeah, after these artillery and air strikes come. Just for the moment, it seems like we should send our tanks here because those black cannons might be strong enough to even get our tanks, and they're certainly strong enough with those black guns and anti air machine guns to slaughter every unit we have. Infantry unit. That's just something that isn't really acceptable. He's, yeah, I'll send another one of these, uh, one of these at least here. We still have uh, quite a lot of troops to move. Another engineering squad. Should I go through these woods? Might be a faster way to go and allow us some of our units to partially flank him, flank these guys. What do you? Yeah, I think all the forces going this way are going that way. Uh, what about here? Fire on the cons construction workers. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Hey, everyone, fire I can't believe our guys are all this crappy. We need to shoot these, get, get, get casualties on them. Yeah, retreating on them doesn't mean anything. They seem to be able to do a lot of action for sure. A lot of shots. I think he's all out of fire. We'll use the units from the rear to move first. We'll hope we when we move these they'll be all out. We can annihilate some of their forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cause some casualties. I'm guessing these missions are tweaked to have the desired gameplay end result, even though it's a 
the end results might be a little bit weird otherwise. This is, seems like uh, construction workers and things like that are much more effective. Soldiers than actual soldiers. Because you sort of uh, have to do get the historical result with the, within the game mechanics, but if you use the normal unit, it might unit unit values, it might be a hard thing to achieve. Where's the smoke? It's going to be giving us a nice cover for some time. Firing him is a total waste of time though. We can get a guy next to him. Doing a proper assault on him. Hey, can someone attack that guy? Yeah, you'll go first. That's a uh, that's the hex to be in, though. Destroyed. Uh, that's probably the flamethrower. Very devastating. Now that they're out of cover, we'll have to keep causing them a lot of casualties. Properly collapse their morale. We have one unit left. We can choose those or those. We'll have to pick those. Yeah, they're destroyed. Uh, it's yeah. Uh, it has to be the flamethrower. So if we can get next to the enemy, we can uh, annihilate them pretty much instantly. And that was for this turn. Let's see what they still have in store for us. That's a good one. Collapsed building usually kill units that are hiding in there, at least some of their stats. Uh, sorry. Just tasted a tea someone else brewed, and it's disgustingly strong. It's like drinking uh, coffee. Ah. Let's look at the situation now. Yeah. We can't proceed too much. Now, there will be a lot of bombardment coming on the next turn.
there's probably another one of these. They're they're poison to our infantry. Third AA battery. There might be troops in these woods, but I don't think they are, at least not that many. Having your troops on the rough terrain is simply much more preferable. They're truly a pain in the ass to try to get out of the out of their positions. Take a look at our smoke situation. He definitely should send someone here. Smoke. I think we could use some smoke here very soon. Probably another dose of smoke here too. In case there's uh, AA down here. It would seem like a logical place for it. So at least we can get rid of one of them and focus the tank and the units on the other. So the a divide and conquer strategy. Or tact tactic in this case. Uh, easy words to mix up. We'll shoot at it. Hopefully get a kill or two. And that's no Bob. We do want to get rid of those tank obstacles though. It's gonna take some time to punch a through hole through here. Uh, this is probably the heaviest guarded area anyway. Again, we have a this is a quite a lot of time. Kill two kills. That's excellent. That's our HQ unit. Oh crap. That's not a good thing. He can fire he's open to being fired upon. Well, who do you see? The dirty cow. That's not a great thing. That happens when you get shot by a 30 kill. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. Sort of a wall of smoke there, so we can operate in peace.
more wall as well. Uh, it's unnecessary evil. Uh, they are accurate to a much longer distance than infantry is. Don't want to move with these guys first. See, yeah, do that to him. Continue, please. Yeah, these guys are almost impossible to kill at range. We have to have to charge them. Okay, what's the other unit you see? Ooh, good chances on the 30 cal, so we'll take it. And finally get rid of him. And you're dead. At least he had cheap. Uh, 50 cal. Uh, I'm not gonna get take chances on this one. Uh, with this unit, we'll... Well, uh, we'll attack when we have a little more force here to back our attack up. First victory flags are ours. And it's almost one third of the mission is over. And this is gonna be the hard part. And this is gonna be the insanely tough part. Yeah, we we need to pick up our speed. After the next artillery barrage, it's we have to push fast and hard. Hopefully more units will be revealed though. I hate running into these vehicles. Now there's jeeps. Jeeps should be quite easy to get rid of though. They don't have armor so just shoot at them. They'll go down. Wait. Again, charging blindly isn't the fastest way to do things. It's a good way to diminish your attack capability by sort of uh, gripping your units a few at a time. It's much preferable. We'll just wait for a turn to everyone to get on the same line and then with force, so even if you lose units or take casualties and take retreat, you have backup units to come finish the job. It's very hard, rare that you have a unit that can reliably succeed on its own. If that happens, you usually have some kind of advantage, like a, a superior technology with your tanks or something like that. So the other side really can't easily counter you. Let's move a little bit. Now, a lot of bombardment should happen. Bombarding our own men, that's wonderful. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really check our bombardment locations.
now this please kill it Actually, we're lucky that they attack. It's fine. It's not. Yeah, ooh, there's more bombardment coming here. Can't see crap. Lines will bombard with all we have. Zero. Uh, let's send the zero there. But they missed that. Uh, three airplanes missed their targets. Uh. Either that or they have no initiative and when I said bomb that random square there they thought it, it was a do or die situation. But in the past. Yeah, I wonder where where did it come from? We do have to try to get rid of him. It's a golden opportunity. We have weaponry. Yes, we do. Why didn't you use them? Do I have to do everything myself? You have such a large and flamethrowers, but you don't use them. That, that's 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 beautiful. That is beautiful. vehicles are really the big problem. We, we can't afford to lose or do our engineers here. So you won't shoot them with the rifle flamethrower, that bastard. Okay, you can't flamethrow it because Yeah, it has to be hand grenades. I'm guessing because they're not truly armored units. They're, they're not tanks. Oh, one unit down. We are suffering, suffering quite a lot of losses against them. There's no doubt about that. I have no idea how to handle some of these units. I just have to hope that once we get enough casualties through, even they will start to rethink things. Their combat capabilities will drop. Yeah, they have large squads, 13 men squads. Do you see nothing? Really? One shot at a jeep and you can't fire your main weapon anymore? You, you really are worthless, worthless tank. A 
At least send machine gun won't be able to destroy it. Black cannon on the other hand probably can. Remember our armor values are like Two and three, uh, nothing to be proud about. We'll get rid of the jeep. It should be easy enough with normal infantry. Again, jeep is sort of a like an infantry unit, or that's how it's handled. So if we eight quarters first defense battery. That guy should be our target. Do we have movement capable units here? Not really. We'll have to shoot something. We can't shoot all of them. It's not gonna do much good. Did nothing. Ah. A 30 cal machine gun is much better at this than you are. What can you see? I'll still try to get kills. Again, I'm well, hoping for a stacking effect on the. If you lose units, it can affect other units who haven't been shot even once. Having your unit just retreat is another matter, that's not so bad. to get a kill from this group. Yeah, it was easier than expected. What else? What else? What else can we see? Nothing really. Can we shoot at him? Then shoot. Excellent. Surprised they didn't react to our presence. Oh, you have a nose. Yes, you do. Ah. I have to send more troops there, but I don't really want to because we're gonna need everything we have here. They have all the all the guns, all the AA. Yeah, this is gonna be a nasty place to go. So we won't go. At least not yet. We'll gather up some troops here. Oh crap. So there was troops in the in the forest. Yes. 
Yes, there you are. Very nasty place to put it. Very nasty. There might be more in this forest, but we we have to sh absolutely shoot at him. If he can get next to one of our units, he'll uh, he'll annihilate it. He has a flamethrower. That is interesting. Can anyone shoot at him? Mm, I'll have to shoot at him in the hopes of pinning him enough so the next squad can do something about him. We will take a lot of casualties. Yeah. Man. I hate it's not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, reactive fire. That's nice. So you actually see him. Still need to shoot at him. Even though he shoots us and kills us and we are losing men, that's not gonna make a difference. Anyone else who can charge? They're retreating. I'm inclined to ignore them. That should be enough to disrupt him. Now we'll go and finish the job. That's true. And I don't want to fire smoke. Not this time. Turn. See what happens. They have infantry and they're attacking. That's their HQ unit. At least one of them. Yeah, we're gonna suffer quite a lot of casualties. Very good place to shoot at us. Pillbox. That's that's wonderful. Yeah, they totally annihilated one of our entire infantry squads. I 
have to take a quick look at these heaps. Pillbox is a uh, that's quite dangerous for us. We will be firing bombardment here for a long time, I think. As long as this mission lasts. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. I don't want to fire any more smoke. Time for smoking is gone. I'll try to soften up these guys. They're gonna be the last, last unit standing. Another one will be that one, but we it's not that dangerous against tanks, and we have a tank there. Problem now is really that pillbox. Yeah, it'll destroy a tank quite easily, it'll slaughter infantry, and the armor is ridiculous. You know, no, no chance in hell to break through that, so. Maybe we should have tried to run through here faster so we could flank them. Our options with the pillbox now is basically shoot him enough that he'll give up and decides to the crew decides to go home because it's not fun anymore. Yeah, we need to shoot at him, get him out of his position. Yeah, we didn't manage to do much. There's the smoke here. Yeah, we will shoot at him. Need to start getting rid of these guys. Round hit, round Those guys are tough. They got a ton of punishment. They didn't do anything. On the negative side, they shot quite a lot of us at us. So I'm betting they don't really have the. Shots to do anything, and they don't. That's always a mistake you can make. And that's why you lost without the fight. Would have been more interesting with the Americans. Uh, I don't know. There's no way of really telling before you see what's on the field. I suspect we'll have a lot of chances to play as Americans, especially at the on the Pacific Arena. So I'm not too concerned about that. Just one mission. I'll do try to alternate, unless I have an overriding reason. For example, if we get a uh, proper amphibious assault mission, I, I probably want to defend against that or do that. I'd like to do both at some point. To see what it's like, you know, proper landing trap, things like that. I have a, I have a recollection that I've played this before. I think I some once played a Pacific campaign with the Americans.
the specific campaign is very different compared to the European one. It, it's it's a lot less about tank tank armies doing battles. It's a lot more about uh, infantry using tanks as force and doing these kind of. Uh, using your indirect fire support options very carefully and efficiently. This kind of map wouldn't be bad for the tanks, but a lot of the maps are... You need some kind of tank power to proceed and handle pillboxes, things like that, but a lot of the targets are and the uh, Terran is such that infantry units will serve you much better. But that's uh, again, that's a vague recollection. I it was a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. And my thinking that time was a little bit different in general. So maybe I didn't know how to properly properly support tanks at the time or something. That's entirely possible. You always learn new things and to play the games differently. We do need to send some proper quantitative units there. There's likely at three, at least three squads of units there. And we preferably would like to have at least two, two to one advantage in squads. The reason is they're in a dug in a defensive formation. So we have to fire them, take a lot of damage, and then use fresh units to go in and attack them. But we're going to have to, even if we recycle units, sort of uh, who takes the damage, we'll be losing a lot of troops and several squads just to take out a few squadrons of enemy. Uh, luckily they don't have flamethrowers. And one kill. He's routed. I'm not sure what's the point of shooting at it. I have two units ready to go. Again, undo. Um, I'll, I'll catch my breath and not move anywhere. Reason being, I want more than these two units to be able to go up there. Even taking out him will require probably three squads, and there's likely someone to support him. So, going there with a too few squads just means that we'll you know, whip our asses properly. That means they can't fire ba fight back anymore. Or are unwilling to do so. So it should be safe to put the pressure on them. We don't want him to get his courage back. So we want to inflict more casualties. But the toolbox is a problem. That's a serious goddamn problem. We could use more smoke here, definitely. I smoke this guy up. Uh, 
Let's give it a go. In turn. Shooting our own guys here. Damn ass. Our first squad lost. Okay, now he's not be dying. He took quite a good beating. I have to say, the smoke helped quite a bit. Now should be a good time to attack them though. The the squad here used a ton of uh, attacks to attack, and the pillbox did so too. The pillbox, uh, I can't see it anymore. Trying to get a kill. Always keep in mind, kills matter even if the unit itself is uh, totally incapable of taking part in the fight anymore. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Don't have that much time anymore. And those two at least can put up quite a fight. That's a nice set of kills. Yeah, there's still a peel box to worry about. This guy can't even fire, I'm so afraid. Little charge there, take the peel box fire. There's more infantry coming, that's nice. Uh, that is, that is, that is really nice. I don't want to lose this unit if I can help it. Even if it's just one guy at this point. But they're, I think they're coming to defend that flag. So that's an interesting thing. Because it means we can... We can likely position our forces here. He'll come charging us for once. And if he do, that's a death sentence for him if he does. Absolute death sentence. Yeah, I think we need reinforcements a lot more. Why did you go there? Why not here? The mines here or something? No. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, this was good for us. We got to shoot him before trying anything fancy with anyone else. Go here. 
we don't want to go next to him until he's proper, properly get some casualties. There's definitely not with the leader unit of our army. That's just that's just stupid. So let's see to That's that's a problem too. Because that tank seems to be getting back into into shape. Jeep has to die. Yes. Ah, that was uh, easier than I thought. But this guy. I think we will be reducing our troops in that direction. Starts in the rear. Even if they are trying troops left. We still have a lot of fully capable troops in here. Cut the back up here, we'll rush him one way or another, probably with the tank first, even if it gets so destroyed the four or five full squads of infantry will be easily able to take that. And yeah, let's enter turn and see what happens. This is a this is a top knot. It'll fall, but it might be able to delay us until the end of the fight. <sighs> Immobilize, that's a good hit. Okay, we don't have any smoke ammunition really left. They're taking huge casualties. Oh, they're rotted. But you button, that's nice. Position dug in. Cancel smoke. Shoot mortars. I'm not sure what what the advantage of shooting shooting here anymore is. I'm guessing each flag was presented by something. Enemy unit. We're now in the position to attack the peel box, even from sides. So no matter what happens with that, we'll be fine. The only question really is timing at this point. We have seven turns, so we're not in a exactly in a bad position. I have to say, our units have a. Uh, 
quite strong morale. Even when, when only one guy is left, he's still still capable of continuing to fight. He's our sacrificial lamb. Uh, they have pillbox dug in. Okay, what squad do we have? Nothing that can break through the pillbox, but we need to suppress it somehow. I wasn't expecting that. I guess that makes sense. Let's treat it as a tank. We need to, we need to get in, an engineer there to do the same, and it won't work anymore. He budged up. We are gonna be totally annihilated. Yeah. He was the guy who had the chance, and he blew it. Blew it bad. And we're now in a pretty bad position. We flame thrower him. Pillbox didn't get hurt, but the <laughs> infantry was annihilated. Ah. I think a flamethrower is still the best choice to attack it. Being in that hex when someone's flamethrowing it, it's uh it's not good for your morale. Okay, we have to do something else. Uh satchel charge. Good enough. Good enough. I think they're ready to... Ah, uh, pillbox is uh, yeah, I'm not... I, I don't really understand the assault mechanics. When I fired at him with a flamethrower, nothing really happened. When I assaulted him with a flamethrower, he got destroyed. So... Okay. Now uh, this is looking a lot better. He's routed so we can attack him. Not any worries. They were destroyed. Okay, go there. There doesn't seem to be any enemies here though. So, reinforce the other attack. We have a ton of wounded infantry. This will stand here and defend. Okay. How to deal with that one? We have a uh, we have five units infantry units that can reach him. God, it has to be the tank. Doesn't really have to be, but. I think it's better overall, even if it gets killed, it has the best chance of surviving the initial encounter and if it, and even kill that. And if it's even if it gets destroyed, it's it's not that big of a deal. 
the units are more than more than capable of handling him. I'm not sure I want to encounter him from this angle. bit easier than I thought. Yeah, at least this is sort of ending like we thought it would. Great up fighting. But his main defense now are one AA gun and one Hobbiter and he has to survive for seven turns with our reinforcements coming. Uh, unlikely to happen. We'll stop firing artillery after this. It's more of a risk to our un un dug in troops than it's for it than it is for his troops. Little. This is gonna hurt. Didn't hurt that bad. We're in a firing position against his troops. Firing position against his troops. Can't fire on all of us. I'm actually hoping he'll continue firing on this guy because this is this uh, he is unable to react to anything. Reactionary fire from us. If there's some good thing about the Japanese infantry here, they're very good at suppressing, uh, rallying. Getting rid of the suppression. We have engineering squads. Yeah, get rid of that. You are an engineering squad. So reinforce him then. I don't we really think we'll move further this this round. Sure, all the troops aren't needed. But the thing is, they might make a difference. So why not? Why not send them? We lose nothing by sending them. Hurt, had hurt quite badly. We could smoke that, but I don't think we want to. We want to keep a pressure on him. Even if he retaliates against all of us, he, he'll have spent all of his react shots. You you can't keep doing that. I think that was his breaking point. We can't 
attack him, but we can try to suppress him. Move next turn. Want to move here to uh, get rid of those guys. And continue suppressing that. Oh, that was an important kill. When you have no losses, you can take quite a bit of fire, but once you start taking losses, it'll, it's a totally different ball game. So, in turn. I think we have this well in the bag at this point. There's a still few units he can hurt us quite a bit, but nothing to turn the tide. Uh, they abandoned. They abandoned it. You fools. It's not like it'll save you from dying, it just means we had a little easier job killing you. to a victory, very clear one. Uh, how far does he see? We'll start positioning our troops here. Wait at least until the next turn before doing anything, anything major. Taking him out isn't gonna be easy. I think we're done moving a lot of troops here. Only five turns, so they don't even have the time to make it here. Yeah, there are a ton of, ton of these dragon teeth there. realize how hard it's to get rid of them. Yeah, their numbers isn't really hasn't been reduced and there's been engineering squad there for multiple turns. Mind on the other hand seems to be quite easy to get rid of. Okay. Moment of truth. Hopefully we can get kills and to influence his morale. We'll still have to fight him, but he'll likely give up a lot easier. Yeah, bring the pain. Ooh. I don't think we can restore our moving capabilities anymore. Uh, I will save him up at least for later. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, it's game over for them. There's no way they can recover. Japanese victory. Yeah. 
might have been more interesting playing as an American. Try to turn this into a victory for them. Yeah, Japanese 1127, use Marine 91. Another scenario down. Uh, this was at least interesting uh, and something we haven't seen during the regular campaign. So much appreciated. Still waiting for the. some kind of a proper. Landing craft mission. No, they are out there. You, you can even get them on, on the regular campaign. Uh, yeah. Uh, much more positive. In, uh, sort of a. Yeah, it's a much, much better scenario in that there's nothing quite like it when you play the campaign cam campaign games. So yeah, you 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 don't feel like it's just another one of your campaign mission. Although that's not a bad thing. It's also says a good thing about the campaign because you could you can see there some of the missions you can. The generator creates for you are quite good. So it's not a bad thing, but I just say there has to be something about these scenarios that makes them different. Uh, so also worth playing. And uh, this this was the second scenario I played, and it already showed some promise. So I'm much more positive about the thought of playing through all these. The first one was, was sort of okay, but I was thinking, is, is, is this, uh, this going to be just another 60 campaign missions? But the second one, much better. <laughs>